nights had to move along and earn sacrifice. Say too many drowned trying to rub my way the man overboard, but that's bad advice. I think people got comfortable here in rap, to be honest. So many talented artists here that just aren't even seen. That's on God, that's on my family, that's on every blessing I'm headed. You can guarantee when that smoke pierces, I'll be the last man standing. I can tell you right now the hood I'm from, there's, there's probably 50% of people there that, that don't want to say me since. My artist name is Luxury and I'm from Pembroke, New South Wales. My drive for rap music sort of started probably when I was a bit younger. I sort of found a way to um, speak and vent my emotions, you know, through putting it on a page. Especially growing up out west, it was sort of, um, what do you say, as a man, you know, you always sort of hold it in and stuff like that. You weren't really taught to let your emotions out and, and talk about your feelings. So rap was always sort of like a gateway to sort of talk about our, our issues, I guess. I'm talking more from my heart, less from my face. See, rap be out of shape and show the world where the pace be. Break freeze with the devil trying to chase me. Stuck between the doors trying to figure where they place me. My artist name Sesk uh, from Western Sydney out there at Lala Park, 2147. Why do I make rap music? I've been in the game a long time and when I first started, it was a way of expression. As soon as I started doing music, uh, hip hop and that, and my, my brother, he was like, I'm your DJ, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. He set up a home studio, didn't know nothing, you know what I mean? We had a um, we had a performance mic with the cone hanger around it, we had the, the stocking around it, and that's that's what we were recording through. Didn't know nothing about mixing or mastering, but we, we, got, some, we got some shit done, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I think Australian rap's a lot more different because it's probably a smaller minority, you know, like it's not, demographically it's nowhere near as big um, and, you know, uh, it's probably segregated into a lot of different styles at the moment, um, you know, especially like even if you look at the Sydney region, if you're from Western Sydney to uh, Sydney City, even though there's a common sort of sound, there's, there's, there's so much variation, you know, where, um, you know, I mean, America and England, you know, it's, it's sort of, everything sort of ties together. Well, you got to look at them, first and foremost, you got to look at the, the population of the US and the, and the UK, you know. They're fucking, they're pretty huge. And, and one thing I've noticed with other countries too, they, they kind of back each other, where in Australia there's not really much backing. I can tell you right now, the hood I'm from, there's, there's probably 50% of people there that, that don't want to see me succeed. You know what I mean? We're over there. They talk about their gang violence in their hood, and it's like, yeah, I'm from that hood. Um, that's where I'm from, you know what I mean? I don't know if Australian rap will benefit from being mainstream, or like, this day and age, you don't really need a mainstream to, to reach an audience, you know? If you look at social media and that sort of stuff, um, you know, and I said, the culture's so different. Australia doesn't really have, if you look at American hip-hop culture, um, you know, everything, Prives around, you know, strip clubs and party and, and all that sort of stuff. America, Australia doesn't really have that cultural impact, you know, for hip hop to go into that mainstream. On a day to day basis, you're driving around in your car, you're listening to a radio, they're just playing American music. So, like, not everyone's used to Australian hip hop. It's not the same thing, same symptoms. I'm with the boys in my hood, kicking doors in my hood. Shit, we even sent for coppers, went to war in my hood. See, I've done just what I could. Take a page up out my book, cause I made it down the track. Now I'm staying here for good. So, my name is Sean Mullins. I'm the head of Urban Music at Universal Music Australia in New Zealand. My role in the music industry, I guess I, I have a lot of different facets to, to my role. 50% um, is probably finding new artists, developing them. But I think my real job is, is trying to empower artists. The Australian rap scene is not as popular in the, U the U.S. or U.K. Um, primarily, the whole game has kind of changed now. Um, and for the first time, it's opened up where anybody anywhere is, is really putting music on the same playing field, like on the same platform, you know? Um, 
So I think that while it's not currently as popular, um, I think we're moving into a time when, when it can be. When I was um, first coming up, I was like, it was cool, you know, everything, you know, being signed to a label, that's, that's on paper, it looks mad, you know, and, but my thoughts on it now, as I've spoken to other people that have been with labels, major labels, it's business. They're there for money, full stop. I don't, I don't care about what you're going through, what, what message you want to, you know what I mean? If they can make money off you, they're going to make money off you. They're like, oh, I could be wrong. Because what's a label really for an artist but a partner, you know? It's they're someone that's trying to, to pair with them to work towards a creative and artistic objective. And I don't think that there's ever going to be, um, uh, you know, like a loss of relevance for uh, a good partner for anybody that has artistic endeavors. Being independent as, a, as an artist, it depends on what you do it for, you know. Me, myself, it, it's, I, I class myself as an artist, so everything's honest, everything's 110%, everything's creative. So that's yeah, one thing I definitely pride myself on is having, um, you know, that originality and independence. I'm not going to let no man speak for me. I'm not going to, um, you know, say anything more or less than what I need to. I'll be myself, you know. I mean, first off, if anyone at, at any label is telling you that you need to change, you know, your, your core identity as an artist in order to want to do a deal with them, then it's not the label for you. Like, somebody should be excited about, you know, what you're doing with your, with your art. Um, or see a vision for how to build in with you and want to, you know, um, otherwise you're kind of starting off. And so I think that's like a, a misconception that, that artists have. If a label's approaching you, there has to be some interest from what you're doing already. I'd sit down and have conversations with record labels to see what they can offer, 100%. I think the labels will, they're starting to really wake up, you know, they're definitely, paying more attention to it. But also too, you know, I said hip hop's a very, you know, real music and it can be quite, in Australia too, it's very confronting. Um, uh, you said it's, it's minority, a lot of the stuff, especially the, the, you know, the more street um, underground sort of rap, a lot of labels, it's, it's bad for business. They don't want to deal with that. I think to say, you know, because something is too real, I mean, hip hop is nothing but a reflection of, you know, the, the place in society where it comes from. You know, it's always been that. So, uh, and, and I mean, I can tell you now, there's artists on my roster that are talking about all kinds of shit. Anything from, you know, the typical like OG, like gangster hip hop stuff to like all the stuff happening in drill, um, you know, to touching on youth depression and talking about suicide. There's so much of that going in hip hop right now, but all of that's at our label too. Right now, there's one goal, is to break an artist from here into the global market, and that's it. That will open up this whole market, because there are so many incredible artists here. And, and hip hop is more relevant in Australia than anybody realizes, and that's another part of the problem, is just even the perception of Australia. In hip hop specifically, everyone's so caught up on a fucking accent that we, we can't find even a comfortable balance or a compromise that doesn't block out that potential growth across like American streaming platforms and radio, but still let someone feel like, you know, they haven't lost their identity. There's so many more affinities between, you know, this market and the US than, than people realize, but they'll, they won't realize that until they see the artists who represent that. So that, that's what I would hope to see. Change, what the fuck would I spare?